The name Pence keeps popping up when it comes to presidential politics 2016. But at least for now, the Pences say they're staying put to serve the people of Indiana. I recently sat down with the first lady of the Hoosier State and found out she's doing much more than just standing by her man. I wanted to just take this four years and say, what can I do in this little limited amount of time to make a difference in Indiana? Karen Pence is a mother, a teacher, an artist, a philanthropist, and first lady of the state of Indiana. A political wife in Washington for years, when she and her husband Mike were elected to the highest office in Indiana, it took some getting used to. The privacy thing has probably been the biggest surprise. But she didn't want to sit idly by in the passenger seat as first lady, so she sought advice. When uh, we were elected, I sat down with all of the first ladies, and I just, just pick your brain, tell me do's and don'ts, advice, they were all amazing. She heard things like never judge a pie contest, yeah. appreciate each day because it goes by fast, and do what makes you feel comfortable. And that's exactly what she did. She created a first lady's fundraising luncheon and a foundation, and in June handed out $23,000 to more than 20 charities. And it's just a way to say, here's a, here's a small donation, but maybe we can draw a little attention in your own community so people are aware of what you're doing. Supporting charitable causes and being able to champion Indiana schools have been her passionate pursuits. That's kind of my selfish part of being First Lady is that I want to visit the schools. A teacher for 25 years, she makes regular school visits and often talks to students around the state. I, I've just been so impressed with the schools in Indiana personally. When I visit, so many teachers out there are, are working as hard as they can to reach the students where they are. At home in the governor's residence, the peaceful grounds offer a respite in the middle of a constant motion. And I do have a, a morning prayer time before I start the day, mostly just wanting to be open to um, things that come our way. It's a safe place to reflect on the past. And when we ran the first time in 1988, we were very young, we were ambitious, we thought we were going to solve the world's problems, and we were very arrogant at that time in our life. And it's a good thing we didn't win uh, our run for Congress in 88 or 90. And the future, especially in light of the rumors that a White House run is on the horizon. It's always a compliment to Indiana if people are talking about what's going on in our state. And we know the difference of ambition driving you to run for something and feeling a calling. Pence says they have not felt the calling for the White House, but she says she schedules family time on months in advance and says over the years that's really helped the kids and the governor stay balanced. Tomorrow she'll make an appearance centered on the health of the flower and vegetable gardens at the governor's residence. Pence will unveil a beehive on the property. That hive, its bees and supplies were all donated by the Indiana Beekeepers Association. She's also been asked to chair the bicentennial celebration for the state in 2016 and says she's looking forward to celebrating all 92 counties in Indiana.